Okay, oh, it's so good to be back in the world of feeling a bit better. I just had about, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks or so of feeling really rough. And um, yeah, it's so good. I finally feel a bit more alive again and uh, a bit more myself. And yeah, it's great. And in that, in that time, my, my book arrived. And so the actual final copies have arrived now. So they're now being sent out to anybody who has ordered them. Thank you so much for everyone who has ordered my book. I'm on the pre-order and since then now they're out. Link below if you want to get hold of this. It's a book of um, called The Edge of the World and it's basically landscape photos from my last five years. Um, traveling to loads of remote areas across the UK, Iceland. Um, but, you know, you, you can see it. I'll give you a quick show. Look, it's just some lovely, beautiful places. And anyway, this video is not about that book, but I'm excited about it. So it's there if you want to see it. Um, do click the link below. I'd love to send it out to you. If you've ordered it, it's on its way. Um, so fantastic. But oh yeah, and don't forget my Patreon link below as well. Um, love having people on Patreon. Do come and join me on that. I've been sharing some of my new um, recipes. I've been, well, okay, so in this last two weeks or so, <laughs> while I've been unwell, I've been spending time doing things like create um, Fujifilm recipes. I love to create recipes. And uh, I've been making um, Kodachrome 64. I've been making uh, Kodak Ektar. I've made Portra. Um, and I've really just been messing around with, with my X-T30 Mark II just to create some great JPEG recipes for myself. And so, yeah, I've got those all um, on my Patreon. So, you know, come and be part of it and you can get those, all of my uh, recipes for free. Anyway, one of the things I've been doing while I've been unwell is thinking about my <laughs> Fujifilm lenses and, and cameras. And I've been thinking if I could only pick one lens, to take out with me, which lens would it be? And it's quite an interesting thought. Now, you, at the beginning, you think, oh yeah, 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 I think about my favorite lenses. But then you start to think about, well, what's the criteria for this choice? Is it size and weight? Most Fujifilm lenses are pretty small anyway. Most of them are pretty um, lightweight. But you know, some of the F2.8, like the, was it 16 to 55 or whatever it is, is quite a heavy lens for Fujifilm. So you, you've got that to think about. Some of the longer lenses, obviously they're a bit heavier and a bit more awkward to carry around. The 50 to 140 can be a little bit cumbersome, um, not compared to the full frame Canon version, but you know, still for Fujifilm, it's a longer lens. Um, the 50 mm one F1, that's quite a big and heavy lens. So if you're thinking about, I could only pick one lens, it's not necessarily gonna be the most expensive lens, and it's not necessarily gonna be the biggest kind of lens as a kind of a showpiece, because actually, for me, I'm thinking, well, I've gotta travel around with it. You know, I want, what's my best usable lens? And I came down to one lens, and I kind of, what I did was, I worked my way down. Start to think about, well, over the years, and you can imagine, over the years, I've had a lot of Fujifilm's lenses. I've had loads of them. And so in that process, I've kind of um, had all kinds of zoom lenses, prime lenses. But in the end, my favorite lenses are always prime lenses. The quality of the prime lens, the usually it's a bit smaller, it's a bit more lightweight. Um, and that for me is a bit of a kind of, you know, something I just love. I love the wider, you know, open more kind of wider aperture lenses. So in the end, I came down to my favorite lens of all time in Fujifilm um, up till now, which is this one here, which is the Fujifilm 23 millimeter F 1.4. This lens has been with me everywhere. It's made in Japan. It's one of their it's full metal. So construction is just out of this world, even though it's not weather sealed. This is not the new one. This is the older, legacy, now legacy 23mm lens. And the reason for this is firstly, I've shot 
everywhere with this lens. I've been all over different parts of the world. I've been to um, you know loads of landscape shoots, commercial shoots, um, weddings. I've done all kinds of photo shoots with this lens and it has never let me down. It has always, always taken sharp, fast images. Um, it's just a beautiful lens, but it's not too heavy, it's not too big. It's just the right size for a, a lens which you will need to rely on every day. And I think the reason, and the main reason for me why this is the lens that I, I love and would be my first choice is that it takes just these exquisitely contrasty, colorful, beautiful images. There's something almost mysterious about the quality of this. And I guess as Fujifilm have brought out a new version and I'm, I'm waiting for them to send me the new version to review. I, I mean, I'm excited about the new version, but at the same time, I love the old version. And I feel like there's a quality to this version that I don't know if it's gonna be reproduced in the new 23mm weather resistant one. You know, they're gonna upgrade the optics, it's gonna become a linear motor and all those things, which is great. But there's something about the optics in this one that just carry a, a beauty. They carry a, something about them which just feels, um, it doesn't just feel, feel more filmic, it just feels more authentically Fujifilm. I think we're at the point now where, you know, we've gone from film and then we've got super high quality digital and I feel like the, the kind of first few years of Fujifilm have just got a quality about the gear um, that is just a bit more nostalgic now, I guess, because as things produce, you can look back and see what, you know, what's been. And I love what's been. I love the images that I've had from this. I love the, the journeys that I've had on this. And, you know, one of the things you do, I know for me when I'm not well, one of the things I do is I just, I find myself just sitting and remembering landscape shoots, remembering shoots that I've done where I've been outside and I've, you know, been in crazy weather and I've been in, you know, crazy, <laughs> crazy shoots where, you know, other people perhaps would not have um, stayed out, but I just love it and just stayed out in that weather and, you know, kept climbing, kept hiking. And I've, I've had this gear with me in that. And so there's something about the gear which attaches itself to your memory that makes it nostalgic. And so for me, it's the 23 mil, but for you, you might have another lens that actually has been with you in situations and in photo shoots or hikes or whatever, where actually the memory attached with that is a really nostalgic memory now, or maybe it's a family shoot or something. It's just, you know, it attaches itself to you. And, you, and so when you think about that lens, I'm realizing you are thinking about a nostalgic memory that you enjoyed and it, they all get attached and suddenly your cameras take on this kind of um, personal kind of um, persona, which is weird because they're just bits of metal but and plastic but and glass. Um, but anyway, they do. And uh, if you're like me and you're quite an emotional, um, nostalgic person, then that happens even more and to a more intense degree. Um, but I found this lens to be a fantastic lens. And now it's going to be cheaper because the new one's coming out. And as great as I imagine that new one is, I would say if you get this one secondhand, you will not be disappointed if you're like me. <laughs> I love it. And I am. You know, I'll keep this lens for a long time and uh, it will be on my X-T30 Mark II for a long time as well because it really is a fa fabulous camera to this fabulous lens. So yeah, what's your best lens? If you could only have one lens, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, thanks ever so much. Cheers.